this has come as an opportunity time. And I want to say that if I look at the issues that are divided us, they were actually, there's a very thin line because they are issues that we could agree upon. We may not be able to get 100%, at least 99.9% .9 agreement is good enough. On the issue that has been spoken uh, by the chair, on the issue of uh, the, the medical cover for staff, honestly, the Council of Governors has done very well, the 47 counties. Because of the 47, only seven counties are in the process of ensuring that all the health workers are boarded on uh, some, some medical scheme that is actually allowable by law. We are moving into a critical stage in our medical medical insurance scheme where we are bringing to an end the NHIF and we are bringing in the SHIF and the SHA. Currently, there is registration of uh, all the Kenyans to be onboarded on uh, SHA or both from from uh, NHIF to, to SHA. And currently, we have experienced a bit of resistance in a few places where our people out there think that the registration that is being done to onboard them is a form of taxing them. And I want to use this platform to ask our people out there to please enlist yourself with the new scheme of medical services, that is the social health insurance. Because the NHIF that you've been using is soon going to be a thing of the past. And it is now upon the clinic officers who are here today, represented by the leadership, our other health workers, all the way including the, 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 what, what we used to call the, the CHP, is now they call CHP, to educate our people and inform them that they are not registering for SHA to be taxed, but in, instead to be onboarded on a scheme that can enable them to be treated whenever they go to every hospital. So that is very critical, and we're hoping that the medical, the clinic officers will please help our people to onboard our Wanaichi because we need that program to succeed. And allow me to appreciate the clinic officers are very critical Medic, medics in our facilities because level four all the way down to, to level two, those are basically run by clinical officers despite the fact that we still have medical officers who are in charge. And therefore, you are a very critical part of our, our workforce when it comes to the issues of health. So, um, and um, in light of, um, of, of, of the um, recent happenings uh, where we're all being called to order by the agencies, um, I think um, we have to do whatever it is that we're doing within the reality of living within our means. But counties are trying. <coughs> counties are trying. Even in spite of the challenges of funding, there are counties that are still recruiting healthcare workers to try and take services to uh, the um, periphery and to, to do a lot more. We want to ask the council governors that we, the clinical officer, are your complement, not your enemy. We can work together to better the service of our people and to ensure for us when we are there, we are only asking for accountability or for enhancement of the existing laws. And we want to allow us third space and we are workers together because we know there are, there are things that we can do better. We as the union, we do not celebrate this situation of going on strike. We always desire that we can be on the table to engage and try and agree to iron issues which are there because at the end of the day there must be issues. But we want to believe that uh, uh, this then mark a new beginning because some of the issues that we had on our strike notice are issues that date back in 2017. Issues of promotion and redesignation where members have stagnated in one job group without any promotion. There are issues of uh, the CBA that we started also negotiating in 2017 until 2019 when we were not able to, to agree. But we are happy that at least we are taking a, an agreement that indeed this can be addressed. We began 
our strike on 1st of April after seven days take notice, which was issued on 25th of March. And we have been on strike uh, until today. We are now today, by virtue of signing this return to work, we are officially declaring that our strike has come to an end and our members shall resume duty in their respective place of work starting today and not later than 24 hours from the date here. But we must also acknowledge that there are things that are with the other party, that is the Ministry of Health, and which uh, we have not been provided here, like the issue of the internship, which I know that is very grievous, uh, even as we talk now. And for those of us, because I'm also an employee of the Ministry of Health, so I want to thank the Excellency Governors who are here with us, because we have really seen commitment from the Council of Governors. But from the Ministry of Health and the people who should actually be showing leadership, we have seen lack of it, and we have not seen that commitment. So the strike continues on the side of the Ministry of Health, because there are issues that we have not been able to agree. We do not have a return to work agreement there. But for the Council of Governors, I think today is the last day of our strike. And I believe that we'll be able to cordially agree on all the issues. And I really hope that going forward, we'll be able to work together so that we do not have these kind of strikes. Thank you. Uh, we have come to an agreement and we have with us a framework that um, within around 60 days we'll be able to address the issues that we raised in our uh, strike uh, notice and that's a good thing. So what we have is a framework as I have said that uh, provides for how we are going to sit down and negotiate, agree on each and every item in, this, uh, in the CBA and in the demands that we presented.